In angiosarcoma, sarcoma refers to a malignant tumor and angio refers to a blood vessel or a lymphatic vessel. So angiosarcoma is a cancer of either a blood vessel, in which case it's called a hemangiosarcoma, or a cancer of a lymphatic vessel, in which case it's called a lymphangiosarcoma. Both of these arise from the inner lining of the vessel wall, known as the endothelium. Angiosarcomas form when endothelial cells suddenly start proliferating abnormally. If these masses grow inside the blood vessel lumen, they can obstruct the blood flow, and that can interfere with the oxygen and nutrient supply to various tissues, and eventually can result in tissue ischemia. If lymph flow is obstructed, lymph fluid backs up in the tissues, causing lymphedema. Cancer cells from hemangiosarcomas and lymphangiosarcomas can also invade the vessel wall, destroying it and making it burst, which leads to bleeding or lymph fluid outflow in the surrounding tissue. In general, these cancer cells multiply at a very rapid rate, and can be easily carried by blood flow or lymphatic flow to faraway sites of the body, particularly the lungs, where they form a new, metastatic tumor. And that's why angiosarcomas are considered to be extremely aggressive. Angiosarcomas can happen anywhere in the body, but most often involve the skin, bone, soft tissue, breast, or liver, and often spread to the lungs. Angiosarcoma the skin usually shows up on the head or neck as a raised purplish skin area that looks like a bruise and doesn't heal and might bleed. It can be painful or might be accompanied with swelling in the surrounding skin. Angiosarcoma of the bone is usually multifocal meaning that it affects multiple sites within the same bone, or involves multiple bones of the same limb. The exact causes of angiosarcoma is still unknown. One risk factor is chronic lymphedema in some parts of the body, like the arms or legs, that goes on for several years. This typically happens when lymph nodes have been removed or damaged, and fluid in the tissues have no way of draining away. Lymph nodes are sometimes surgically removed as part of cancer treatment, or might be destroyed by trauma or infection, or might not be there at all because of a congenital problem. Angiosarcomas in the liver have been associated with vinyl chloride gas, which is found in PVC manufacturing and arsenic insecticide. Symptoms of angiosarcoma depend on the affected organ. Soft tissue angiosarcomas can cause pain and swelling, and can compress the peripheral nerves causing tingling, prickling, or numbness. In the breast, angiosarcomas form rapid-growing, palpable masses, while in the liver, hepatic angiosarcomas can cause vague symptoms like fatigue and abdominal pain. Metastasis of angiosarcoma to the lungs can cause chest pain and difficulty breathing. The diagnosis of angiosarcoma is based on a biopsy of the mass. Imaging studies like an MRI or a CT scan can help establish the location and extension of the cancer. Treatment of angiosarcoma depends on the location and extent of the tumor, and it can include surgery, chemotherapy, or radiotherapy, or some combination of these three. Alright, as a quick recap, angiosarcoma is an aggressive cancer of the endothelial cells lining the walls of blood vessels or lymphatic vessels. It usually affects the skin on the head and neck, soft tissue, bones, breast, or liver, but also metastasizes quickly, especially to the lungs.